Hello and welcome back to another beer review and this time I've got a beer which I'm very very excited about. Now we're going to Manchester, we're going to Cloudwater for this. I haven't done many Cloudwater beers but believe you me the last one I did was a collaboration between them and Magic Rock and it, I think it was an IPA and it blew my mind, it really did. It's fantastic and you know what, every kind of like, it seems like every week they're bringing out a double IPA. Um, never been able to get my hands on them, um, but I've actually got hold of an uh, Imperial IPA from a special edition. We have the IIIPA Centennial, there you go, what a cracking can that is, 9% ABV, says drink fresh. I certainly will do that. There's the back side with all the nerdy stuff. They're, they're renowned for putting nerdy stuff on their beers. And I shall tell you everything about it. Cloudwater. Specialising in modern seasonal beer. Um, introducing our first large batch IIPA. An Imperial IPA. Inspired by modern West Coast IIPAs with low yeast ester presentation to let the aroma hop shine. Centennial in the whirlpool with Amarillo, um, Centennial and Simcoe in dry hop. Um, so the yeast, this is where it gets all nerdy, the yeast is WLP001. The aroma hops are Centennial, Amarillo, Simcoe, Malta, Golden Promise, Wheat, Oats, Dextrose and Mo Moho Hydrate. It's 9% and I had to pick one up. It looks cracking, doesn't it? So, without further ado, hopefully this is going to be a belter. Um, it should be. Paid enough for the bugger. <laughs> See what we get. That is beautiful. Oh, that is love. Oh. oh, it's like an air freshener. All these aromas of of, of fruity aromas and where do I start with this? I can name about loads of fruits coming off. Cool. That's beautiful. Um. I tell you, it's beautiful. <laughs> we have got rattling off on the nose. We have got um, papaya fruit. We've got kiwi. We've got pears, apricots, lemons. There's a resinous feel to it. It's a bit of pepper, maybe. Then you're getting a hint of floralness, and it goes into peaches. Peaches, maybe a hint of avocado. It, it's a, it's like a market stall. It's a market stall of fruit on the nose. It feels like somebody's. You're walking through the market, and you got the old green grocer. Roll up, roll up. You know, <laughs> hundred apples for a pony or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it feels like that. It feels like that. That. that, that oh. It's beautiful. I'm, I'm whacking it in because my mouth is salivating. So she's coming out. Lovely, beautiful gold on this. Give her a... There she goes. Is she all in? She certainly is. Murky, cloudy gold um, heads dissipating down very love lightly hardly any carbonation in that it's very cloudy looking see what we get from the oh it retains all them beautiful fruity notes real natural juicy notes um, nothing contrived it's just real beautiful mangoes melons 
maybe hint of grape as well. It's got the lot. That has got the lot in that. Boys and girls, I'm going to go in. It's 9%. It's going to be a belter. Cheers. I may be a while. My oh my. <laughs> that is fucking beautiful. <laughs> that is. I'm going again again. That is fucking phenomenal. It's not too bitter. You do get a hint with it. I don't know what the IBUs are on this. It's not giving me anything. Taste wise, you hint with the bitterness. Then, after that, you're just showered with, literally showered with fruit notes. You are absolutely, your taste buds are absolutely showered with them. You are getting. Where do I start? You're getting orange, lemon, papaya fruit, kiwi, apricot, peach. <laughs> Where was that? Peach, wasn't I? You can <laughs> You're getting gooseberry, grapefruit, definitely grapefruit. You're getting a hint of grapeness. You're getting all that and resinous round the mouth, smooth, silky feel to this beer. <laughs> that is that is beautiful. That is absolutely fucking phenomenal. That's blown my mind. That is what you call a beer. That, my friends. This this cost me a lot. I think it was about seven quid for that. What you're getting inside it is absolutely phenomenal. I'll go and go in again. I'll tell you what. This could be my longest review because I'm waffling, waffling on. Ten you boys and girls out there how good it is. And I have to, you know... It is fucking brilliant. It really is. And that lovely resinous feel to it. It's just full on flavour. Every time I'm picking up this beer, I'm picking up something else. I'm getting a bit of spice now. Um, nice bit of... It feels like a... Feels a little bit chilly like, you know, a bit of, you know, like a hot spice biting into all them fruit notes as well. You, you know, beers, beers like this, they're just, this is what, this is the type of beer which, you know, I always strive to look for and, and we always kind of look up to and, you know, these brewers, they're like magicians, you know, you know. What goes into a basic beer? Your yeast and you know, your yeast and hops and you know your basic ingredients. But to come up with something as absolutely beautiful like that, you know, your geniuses. I'm sorry, you at Cloudwater, your geniuses, to come up with something that tastes so good, um, so smooth, so refined. Um, you don't get the, the the alcohol. You don't pick that up. But you're just getting the beautiful flavours, absolutely gorgeous flavours, which which really 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 hit hit it on the head. I'm a bit lost for words. I'm a bit taken aback, boys and girls, with this because it's that good, and I'm glad I bought it. One more for the road, I think. Ten minutes in, I don't fucking care.
it feels as I'm going in, it's opening up a little bit more. You're getting more, it feels a little bit more raw. It feels a little bit more raw. You start to pick up a little bit more bitterness past all them beautiful fruit notes. You're starting to pick up a little bit more bite to it, if you know what I mean. But I'll tell you what, it's absolute cracker. Absolute cracker. I don't know how long it's going to be available for. Like I say, they bring out double IPAs every week. I can't pick cloud water up where I am. I have to just, wherever I, I visit and I see a beer shop, if they got cloud water in, I will pick something up by them because I've never been disappointed by them. They are a fantastic brewer. And they should be as big as Brewdog in my in my mind. I think they are. And that um, Centennial Double IPA, or Imperial IPA, should I say, that is an absolute joy. Buy it when while you can, believe you me. That is absolutely brilliant. Thank you for watching this beer review. It's an absolute pleasure to bring you that one. That is a phenomenal beer by a phenomenal brewer. What else can you say? And on that score, murder me in the comments. Please subscribe. You're all stars for watching me and putting it up with me all this time. And I shall see you boys and girls soon on my next one. And enjoy your beers. So cheers.